coming out to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video we are going to making a simple video on how to cut up shoulder wrap top up shoulder wrap top what are the basic measurements required our shoulder measurement bust measurement waist measurement and our top length so we are going to go ahead and calculate our measurement so our shoulder measurement is 14 14 divided by 2 we have 7 our bust is 36 36 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 10.5 our waist is 30 30 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 10 and our top length is 22 22 plus 2 inches for our folding allowance we have 24 inches so these are the calculations required now please don't forget to join us on facebook city designs on our facebook page and also visit our website where you're going to learn how to cut different styles also so we are going to first draft the pattern and with me here i have my pattern paper so pattern papers are in brown color now one thing about this brown color is the pattern paper is actually very long look at the length it is very very long it's about 60 inches long and it comes in a bundle and it also has like two colors a shiny part and a smooth part and one thing i love about this pattern paper is when you want to cut styles that require long length i recommend you have this pattern paper and is available at our store okay so we just did now was that we marked our basic measurements which is shoulder to arm or nine shoulder to bust nine and a half shoulder to under bust 13 and a half shoulder to waist 17 and a half and our top length so once we are done with that we label So we take our dart measurement, which is four inches. On your waistline, mark half inch on both sides. So go in with our pattern master and connect the lines together. So once you are through with that, mark your shoulder measurement which is seven inches now mark our, we'll go ahead and mark our bust measurement i'll mark my waist measurement 10.5 and we'll mark our hip measurements which is 11.5 so we'll connect the lines together this is for the back block now, using our arm or curve, I will use dotted lines to connect the lines, okay? Because what we want to have is off shoulder, not your basic top, okay? Now, to get our off shoulder, determine how many inches you want to take off. So, let's say I want to take off 5 inches. I will mark my 5 inches. Note that the number of inches you take off determine how deep you are going to have your neckline. So... You can decide to use like three or four or six or seven. It depends on how deep you want it to be. So on this line, this becomes our new shoulder measurement. Mark your shoulder measurement on that line, which is seven inches. Now I will connect this, my shoulder measurement to my arm O, where I have my bust line. So this is what we are going to have for the back block and of course it is wrapped so you can see that the back block we don't have zip allowance because the front is opened up already so i'll go ahead and cut this out have for the back block mark my five inches five inches once i'm done with that i'll use my um, my pattern master to connect the lines 
Now, because I don't want the video to be too long, I'm going to place my back block on my front block so that I won't have to like remark all this basic measurement again. So, once I place my back block on my pattern paper where we have five inches, so you can see that I started placing my back block on the line of my five inches and not at the edge. So, I'll go ahead and just trace where we have our length and trace out the sides so that we can chase out the lines so this is what we have now and this is our arm o and we have like our basic block so for us to get the wrap we are going to extend this is our five inches right and this is where our arm o starts from so you are going to slant this your arm o up to your top length this way up to your top length this way so you can see that slant shape you can see that slant shape for our wrap so that's basically how to get your wrap just place five inches in front then mark your basic measurement after the five inches and from your arm o you just slant it to your top length to give you that wrap effect this is what we are going to have for the front block you can see the effect of our wrap and for the back block we are having like a single piece now we are going to transfer this to our fabric our shoulder to bust while we're cutting our pattern paper if you can remember is nine and a half and we took away we took away five and a half so this is where we have nine and a half i hope you guys can see it This is where we have our nine and a half and the inches we took away from the front you can see it is after the tape measure and you just mark where you have your where you have your arm o so you go ahead and measure your round sleeve now because i want this to be a balloon sleeve so i'm going to have like form of elastic at the lower part so i need more than my round sleeve i'm just going to cut it don't forget that we use that slant shape also so you can see the way we slant it in our pattern is the same we are also going to slant it making it of the same measurement and i'll go ahead and open up this part part so this is what we are going to have for our off shoulder sleeve to two now for our back block you are going to have like a center fold okay center fold means that you are cutting one piece for the back block you are cutting one piece and in wrap tops you don't have zip because the front is opened already so you don't want to like open up any other thing at the back again so that's why we are having like fold your fabric into two and place your back block on it so i'll go ahead and cut this out so this is what we have so i'll go ahead and cut this out so by the time we open it up you can see our wrap effect and because it's off let me bring it out you can see our wrap effect by the time you open it up so we have like these two pieces and you can see our neckline and our wrap is actually opened so this is what we are going to have for the front like piece of fabric which is going to serve as stripes to tie your wrap so you have one with a longer length and you have one with a shorter length so in the course of us so the back block so the first thing we are going to use do now is to go ahead and tape the neckline so i'm making use of this bias this is what the neckline looks like after taping it so the next thing so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to fold the back block of course the back block is going to have that 
because we still want to have like the fitting at the back so we are going to measure our dart which is four inches So measure our darts. So I'll go ahead and stitch my dart. The thing we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and fix in our sleeve. So I'll set this aside. Now for the sleeve. So I'll go ahead and fix in my elastic and so it's all the way 12 and a half so the middle is around six and a half so on this midpoint i will fix in my elastic front so you guys can see it clearly so this is what we want to achieve this way this way so on this part i'm fixing one sleeve part to the front and this other part to the back like this so we have this part to the front and this part to the back so i'll go ahead and stitch it we'll go ahead and join it all the way down M the lower parts uh, of shoulder wrap so the next thing we are going to do now is to take our stripe and just fold it so the last thing you will do is just to fix in your stripes And for the second one, you fix it here. 